a very good day so today for the digital uh, advertising you will actually begin with in internet consumers so this uh, very very first chapter uh, or obviously what are we going to look through is basically what are the factors affect their behavior our online consumer behavior uh, towards the EC sites so uh, let's move ahead with the next uh, our very first slide of the day all right uh, looking into the the model of consumer behavior online so basically with the evolution of online communication this has drastically changed the uh, the, the, the easy setting how it is being used among the consumers generally so this has also become the major source to affect their buying decision and uh, eventually this also helps vendors to understand how a consumer makes a purchasing decision so we can have actually later in the more uh, upcoming slide we'll be looking into the uh, the general model uh, how is the uh, independent intervening or moderating variable or the decision making process uh, towards the dependent variable how all these variables actually being uh, placed to play a role towards the uh, decision making process and, all, and also finally towards the um, the consumer behavior generally so this has been done quite some time ago all right uh, it's about like a 20 years back and uh, this is ongoing research in the EC uh, uh, design and implementation uh, wise okay let's uh, look into the general model all right this is the general model um, uh, developed by the Kotler and Armstrong uh, back in 2009 uh, basically well, this was the foundation uh, we can have a look into the uh, cult how cultural social and psychological variables those are the independent variables how these factors these factors has actually contributed towards uh, the the moderate factors like a brand marketing communication stimuli and also the firm capability these are the three actually the moderators so-called moderators how the independent actually uh, project the uh, intervening with the uh, those moderators towards the install behavior and basically uh, towards the end of the buying decision okay that's the dependent variable uh, moving up ahead the integrative model so much uh, like uh, to claim there are too many things has taken place and uh, towards the enhancement of the EC side together we have seen uh, plenty of variables has been integrated uh, where they do actually put customers uh, consideration as the main uh, emphasis Okay, looking into the playfulness, the aesthetics of the uh, meaning, the appeal, basic uh, appeal of the site, and also the uh, connective part of it. Okay, and the E W O M here is actually um, a word of mouth. Okay, this is also one of the uh, acclaim. Um, digital marketing approach okay it's e worth of mouth okay how this all those independent variables working towards the intervening wom uh, the uh, has also uh, projected towards the repurchase intention and not to forget the external response to the service experience so this uh, model has been taken recently from uh, article uh, written on about the online shopping experience okay this is uh, being adapted by Izogo and Jayawardana okay recently and moving ahead with the cling, uh, click stream behavior okay 
if you look through the click string behavior chart here okay we can see basically this provides a foundation how a consumer uh, actually uh, flip through the sites in the EC site itself okay uh, from the top rank we can have a look uh, uh, that um, a, a customer normally visit a retailer's web website or application for its product or services then followed by the uh, obviously for information at the 54 percent through the search engine and then uh, look uh, visited a store or the location 53 um, uh, visited a non-retailer website or application that doesn't mean it has to be a product or services it's merely maybe a, a portal knowledge portal basically and then right at the end they also use that has the online map so this is basically a rough idea uh, take this data taken from the 2016 on smartphone users right uh, retrieving from Google um, moving ahead with the trend okay this is basically in Malaysia setting we can see 68% uh, proportion do actually still buy offline and online where in comparison 20 over percent uh, was would prefer online more than on offline so uh, this figure is back 2016 and I do believe recently uh, I mean uh, the data actually improved uh, obviously we have a plenty of uh, local uh, easy, easy site okay uh, which has a long way to go to compete the the global uh, rap, uh, websites like e uh, Amazon or eBay all those retailers uh, website which has been there quite some time and uh, uh, this was taken uh, in 2016 all right uh, by uh, retrieving from Malaysian online shopping and uh, let's look into the next slide satisfaction okay this also has been a claim has important um, variable Okay, right after the independent variable, all those uh, interaction of those independent variable towards dissatisfaction before we actually actually determine the, uh, the 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 actual purchase or repurchase intention. Um, looking into the satisfaction, uh, it's actually the most important. Okay, this is actually the. Most Consumers role, okay, there are a few there, okay, so basically uh, we put need to put aside that they are not just a merely a buyer or a purchaser uh, or the user of the product, but we do actually see them as the initiator. Those actually initiate or suggest this of buying this particular product, they are also the influencer. Okay, which they carry some weight, impact. Okay, they carry some impact. Trust. Okay, right after tr satisfaction, trust. It's also claim another ongoing variable to actually determine the rich purchase intention. It is basically uh, you from the part of the or organization perspective on the retailer part. So what are we looking here throughout the EC sites? Um, okay. All right. So basically, we need to do some EC uh, market research. Uh, there are a few techniques being involved. So basically, why do we need to carry out this? Okay. Basically, we, we need to know the post personal profile that helps marketers and predict uh the online buying behavior basically so you, if we want to know the consumer or the a group of segmentation in the uh in a clearer form uh 
none other than you need some analysis here so the first one the web analytics okay it's all known as web analytics so a part of the marketing and campaign uh, has a part of the initiative to track the con consumer satisfaction if a company redesign its website it, it is a positive site uh, where they can gain most of the feedback how the new site is performing so this is how is try uh, based on the trial and error uh, getting to know what which is the part of the site that they need to improve for example on the payment gateway uh, there could be some of the features not being uh, uh, projected into one-to-one one-to-one uh, relationship uh, between the uh, the site and also the uh, the consumers how they are going to look those information towards the system where it is not being disseminated to the illegal channels so uh, they need to make sure this and also the web analytics also need to decide uh, which product basically okay uh, would actually uh, get close to the, the, the their needs and preferences so basically uh, let's move ahead so to observe their consumers uh, movement there are altogether six techniques okay so the, the very first one transaction log it's basically a, a it's a record be, being placed uh, on the online movement of the uh, consumers uh, how do they actually uh, 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 being there maybe the, from the timing the date and which is the site involved so basically this log would generate this kind of information and click string behavior this is by clicking meaning moving moving from one site to another this is on uh, all, all, it, it actually uh, detects from the uh, clicking uh, action the third one web bugs okay this web bugs are very interesting the following uh, basically this the uh, our, the last light okay uh, this two techniques also claim to be part of the uh, uh, to track consumer behavior where it's strongly uh, connected with the database server the the one uh, on click string data it's actually has to do with the clicking uh, action of the users where this uh, information this data is being stored uh, into the server and upon retrieving it it will provide the trail of users activities uh, throughout the from uh, in the website itself and the the, the following one uh, obviously those uh, database analysts uh, they do actually come up with this kind of service on web mining too other than the click string this data mining techniques is actually uh, based on the, those commands where they actually can retrieve the particular information about the users. Like, for example, if they wish to acquire information on consumer uh, or that actually uh, have desire or maybe has given some feedback on the so-called uh, product throughout those sites multiple sites they will be able to actually um, drill through the specific product needs uh, so this is a definitely a very good technique to to in order to know what are their needs and preferences because without this it's impossible to actually um, to know uh, what are the things that you're supposed to improve in the uh, the EC side from the perspective of the retailers all right so um, that's it for today all right we'll, we'll actually move ahead with uh, EC website
perspective, you will try to look into the technical design uh, method, uh, consideration of uh, how would that actually attract a consumer. Thank you.